Jesus. All right, we're recording. I'm taking it down the fucking throat. Jack Daniels in the nose. That's where we're at, boys and girls. I like it. Um, welcome to the official PDHM podcast, episode number two. We got Jackson, we got me, Richard, and we have a special guest, Nathan, who is a longtime member and OG member. We actually talked about him in the first podcast the other day and uh, touched upon the topic that if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't be talking right now because he held shit down with Jackson during uh, one of my many sabbaticals as I disappeared. So here we are. Nathan, you want to introduce yourself? Say hello. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks for being here. And uh, Richard is a mystery man, and he eats ass, cuts grass, and gets gas. Uh, That's what I do, baby. To, uh, Javi. That's and what this, I do, uh, baby. Good stuff. That's how I handle my fucking business. Yeah, man, for sure. You're a great guy. All the in PDHM are great people. Everybody in PDHM that knows me, uh, what's up? Everybody that doesn't, I hope I get to know you guys in the future. I'm one of the uh, one of the ancients, not the most ancient, but one of the ancients, and uh, appreciate all the new guys are doing. I'm not able to be there or be square. No, but you know what? In you're in the background, and you're here rooting us on and showing that support. You know what I mean? Which means a lot to me. To be able to have the guys that were here in the beginning still here in the end, you know? Right. Yeah, man. I mean, if I can, uh, if I can like your Facebook post, I mean, and you appreciate that, that's the, I mean, that's about the best I can do. I, I mean. No, but you know, I appreciate it. Yeah, I just man. like the feedback, bro. And because you know what it is? Like myself, I'm a straight shooter and I value that in people. And you have always been the same way. You know what I mean? If you think something's fucking stupid, you straight up say it's fucking stupid. If you like something, you like it, and that's it. And you're a straight shooter, and you know you, you don't beat around the bush, which is great. For sure. For the past uh, about, for the first four, four or five years, I was in with the community uh, before it was ever a business or uh, whatever the hell y'all call it now. I mean, when it was just strictly community, just family. <clears throat> I mean, I was in it to win it, too legit to quit, <clears throat> just every day trying to get it and grind with all the boys exactly you know here recently i haven't been able to do much and it's going to be like that for a little bit but i hope one day i'll be able to get back into it uh i'm really excited for what you guys got going on though and i'm ex i'm super excited also to see where it's going to go yeah um, man from the, from the outside looking in i'm i'm enjoying it and yeah for sure glad. i mean we got a bunch of cool shit in the pipeline too you know what i mean we're doing a lot of cool stuff you know like this whole year i want to spend really optimizing our competitive teams and i really want to start focusing more on the expansion of us as far as competitive teams are concerned as far as streamers content creating as far as social media platforms i really want to start reaching out into places that we haven't reached out to you know and like this podcast is one of those ventures you know, we're kind of going somewhere that I've wanted to go for a few years, want to really fucking just kind of reach in and give this a shot. And, yeah, uh, I mean, you're, you're testing those waters, you're sticking your finger in that butthole, and you've never done Listen, baby boy, I'm, I'm, I'm a two feet in kind of guy off the rip. That's how I handle my business. That's how I was born. That's how I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You know, that's. I that's... would like to ask, uh, you and Jackson, who's here with us, what, uh, before we get into, you know, I know you probably got some questions saved up. I do. Podcast, but before we get into it, I would like to ask, you know, where you guys see this going in the near future? Not not long term. What are some of the short term goals? And uh, before you get on it, Richard, I'd like to hand it off to Jackson and see see what he's got going on with it. Yeah, I'm what curious myself. Yeah, I get in there, fucking baby. <laughs> get the fight. Let's go in balls deep, dick swinging. I, I know I know that Richard has a vision where he wants this organization to be in the next two to five years. Uh, I think that we've done really well in the short amount of time that we've actually decided to mature, you know, the store, the, uh, actually advancing the competitive team. They, they've done really well, especially the content. I, I mean, I'd like to say that 
that the you know where we started out, where the battlefield community started out in this clan. Uh, there, there's no competitive era in in Battlefield right now, so we've had to kind of shift towards COD and, and Rainbow Six Siege, and they've actually done really well. And uh, I, I I think if we continue on the uh, path of success that that we've had in the past couple months, we'll we'll do great things in the next uh, the next year and in five years from now, God knows where. Um, Rich, I'd, I'd like to turn it over to you to see, you know, wh where do you see us in the next two to five years if we continue on this path of success with the store, with the competitive teams being successful in tournaments and, and getting, you know, the top spots? Um, I just want to see your take on that. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, our uh, our Rainbow Six teams are fucking doing great, especially the PC guys. I just want to give a... Uh... A little bit of love to my boy Scrubby and my boy Corrupt, who are both uh, doing the fucking deal on the PC. Our six team Corrupt is actually the uh, the team leader, in game team leader as well for uh, the R6 PC team. We got uh, Rob and Devin over on the COD team, and I mean these guys are making waves. These guys are playing tournaments every week. These guys are making waves. They're getting our name out. They're you know, promoting the brand, promoting the business, and they're doing it. Um, in the next two to five years, really, what I want is for this to flourish, all right? So what I'm trying, and Jackson, I know we talked about this before, what I'm also trying to accomplish is to be able to turn this into a brand, right? So that's ultimately part of the goal. So we have the competitive teams. You know, the Call of Duty team is going to be competing not in Minnesota, but they're going to be competing in the next LAN event. So I'm going to be flying them out there. We're going to be buying the team entry ticket, and these guys are going to be competing in person. So we're actually going to have a team competing at a large Call of Duty LAN event, wearing our jerseys, promoting Holy us shit. with our brand, everything. It's going to be huge. Holy shit. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Nathan, that's what I'm telling you, man. Really cool stuff. I mean, we've like, never been there before. No, as a, as a as a community, we had dreams of it. Exactly. And we're still a community, but I, I, this this has grown wow. a lot. You know what I mean? And that's that's really such a fucking amazing thing, you know. And it's like being able to give out to the community, being able to give out to our players and our members and people that we end up, you know, you know, loving. I mean, I I love both of you. You know what I mean? Like I really do. I've known you guys for fucking almost a decade and you know you you, you know the, it doesn't matter it's very strange it's like it doesn't matter how much time passes for whatever reason with friends like you guys you can kind of pick up where you left off and it's like no time ever went in between you know what I mean oh, for sure, for sure. which is a crazy thing but before I keep talking about that before I start fucking rambling again um Call of Duty team is going to be competing really on like a national level in these land events which is incredible so that's one goal so we're gonna get you know for the first time ever we're gonna have a team competing in a you know land event second goal is uh or you know they've competed you know we've had teams compete in smaller land events but this is gonna be like a big one you know what i mean like this is like fucking the real deal which is gonna be cool oh for sure i mean yeah. if you're sitting there paying for motherfuckers to fly out to an event to hook up their controllers and get their dicks sucked in in Milwaukee. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty legit. I mean, hell, no, I'm it's cool, man. Right on me out to New Jersey to get mine sucked off yet, baby but, boy. Hey, whenever you want to come, listen. Whenever you want to come by, Walmart. baby, I'll work the fucking sack. I'll fucking cradle your shit. I'll work the pipe, swallow the gravy. I'll put a finger in the ass. Whatever you want. I'll treat you like a fucking lady. I'll treat you like a gentleman. Whoever you want to be treated, I'll treat you. All right. Rich. Rich, to, to segue COD team, have you ever considered PDHM actually uh, holding a LAN tournament where we have these big time teams? I mean, it, it, or it could be statewide. Uh, All right, so. Actually, you know, rinse out a venue and, and holds a LAN tournament. I, I, know, I know it's going to happen in the near future. 
but I, I just wanted to see where your take was. One uh, thing. No, fuck that. I want to do straight machetes. I want everyone's <laughs> into one consolidated warehouse. Where I have machetes. Battle, Roy Battle Royale style. Swinging away. That's it. That's what I like. PUBG, baby. Drop me in a fucking warehouse with a machete and a frying pan. Let's see who's the better man. Yeah. I'm not going to get into how good Nathan is PUBG tonight. So. We're not going to do that. We're what, not going to do that because you ran. Take on, uh, on actually hosting a LAN tournament? Well, let me well let me tell you this, because this is kind of an event that's... Uh, something has happened as of recent that I haven't gotten to talk to you about because it's still... Nothing's in paper, but we're talking about it. Um, we actually got reached out to by the creator of smitetournaments.com that we've been participating in some 2v2 tournaments and things like that um, with our smite team right so he actually reached out to me and was looking for sponsors and things like that and so I told him that we will be the master sponsor for the next four months for at least a very large 5v5 conquest tournament that we're looking at that he's looking at setting up yeah that's so just, that's big steps man i told him yeah so i told him that we would be able to donate two to three hundred dollars and it could, it could be more than that if he yeah needs, you know? exactly uh, we, we, we've we've got the got the revenue to to be able to finance one of these uh events exactly Don't, uh, don't dump your whole nut in one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to test the waters first without going broke and see how it is. Yeah. But I think that it could be something really beneficial because, I mean, you know, you can see it right now. You know, 5v5 Conquest, you know, SmiteTournaments.com brought to you by PDHM Gaming. And basically, so, he would promote us on his website on everything. And we would be included in all talks of tournaments and everything to do with that that tournament, that league that is being set up. So just, just to be clear, this this gentleman's asking us to and put our brand on it, and he's backing us. He he's doing the reaching out to the big time teams to actually host exactly. Is what it sounds like, and what he needs is he needs our brand is what I'm exactly. So our brand is helping. And we're going to help promote the tournaments. And he's going to help promote our name via the tournaments. And we would donate money to go towards the purse. Yeah, I got, I got a sensitive question on that. Tell it me. Kosher for the podcast. But I think I'm going to ask this question. I think other people know the same thing. Is this just a simple monetary thing for sponsoring it? Or does he legitimately believe in us? No, I, I think he legitimately believes in us. What makes you say that? Like, we're, we're asking the tough questions here, Rich. We spent maybe two hours together on the phone. And um, we have brought in the community. We actually have a guy that is, you know, coaching and mentoring. And he was on the competitive team, but he is busy also with his own YouTube channel. I mean, he's got about, his name is Leaf Warrior. And he's got a YouTube channel with like 20,000 subscribers, I think, something like that, 10 to 20,000. And he's very well known in the Smite community. And so he is also helping promote us to a certain extent by rolling with us. So when we signed up for these tournaments, basically he went, holy shit, these guys know this guy, these guys know that guy, you know, blah, 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 that's wild. And, um, you know, we, we are the real deal, you know, the real deal, man. I mean, we ask the tough questions and Richard delivers. I mean, I, I appreciate that At least yeah. myself. I do. I mean, I, I can only also have another question, uh, regarding, you know, we, 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 we broadcast PDHM gaming, PDHM gaming. I kind of butchered that. Excuse me, everybody. In case you didn't know, this is where you get drunk. Oh. And then come on a podcast. Absolutely. So. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got to. Oh, the ice melted. Never mind. You can't even hear it. Can yeah. Hear it's okay. Nothing. Trust me. It's all gone. You, you drink that water. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, for anyone out there that's listening to this and isn't a part of the community already, PDHM Gaming 
the PDHM part of it, correct me if I'm wrong, Richard. I mean, I've been part of this for a long time. You can butcher me here if you want to. Do it me. PDHM stands for, it's a Latin term, potestus de hominis mortis, which translates into English roughly as power over man's death. Yep. Is that correct, Richard? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we are power over man's death gaming, which is kind of hardcore in a, in a literal <laughs> sense. Like, literally, that's that's kind of hard. Like, you wouldn't have a street gang name that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know I mean? uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to be. a gaming organization, yeah, it's like, yo, we're going to slaughter your whole family, and we're going to go fucking Roman culture on your ass. Well, well, that's, I mean, that was the whole thing at the beginning, you know, and it's like now I'm trying to fucking, <laughs> to be honest, I'm trying to find different abbreviations of what PDHM can stand for, because I can't exactly... I can't go and sell t-shirts that say PDHM on it because everyone keeps asking me, what does, oh, what does it stand for? I got a five-year-old wearing a fucking t-shirt that says PDHM. Oh, yeah, your son's promoting fucking murder. Yeah, might as well say ice. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, your son's a fucking international terrorist. He's a domestic terrorist. <clears throat> this has been quite serious up to this point. And I want to reiterate that everyone needs to understand that we are drunk right now. <laughs> and I would like everyone to know that's listening to this that Oh my god, name is... I just fucking ripped ass. I think that Mike picked it up. <laughs> no, I'm almost straight pumped. up. I, I got something better for you, son. Give it to me, baby. Since we started this podcast, I we've we've drank this uh Jackson and I've drank this about this whole fifth of Jack Daniels and I've held this piss in. And I want y'all to know that I've filled up two cups full of liquid urine while I sit beside Jackson. That's fucking terrifying. Jackson, can you two attest to this? Cups full of liquid urine. Jackson, and can you I'm attest to this? I'm trying to get Jackson to drink some of it as a blood pack or as a urine <laughs> pack. And he's refusing to. He's taking it away now. And going into the kitchen and he is gone. You but good? I want you... you to know that while this podcast has been going on that I have urine in two full glasses you guys have known each other for fucking to way too long bro if you are doing that you guys have known each other for too long the friendship is too close well he didn't drink it i mean not to my knowledge <laughs> he just took both glasses away well i mean the the, 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 the urine pact is a little fucking extreme bro the urine pact is a little extreme i'm gonna be honest with you okay should i back off a little no, I think you should fucking pour it down his fucking throat. Come on, baby. You guys are brothers. Right, right, right. You guys are born in the same hospital a day apart. Come on, we just been through this. Didn't yeah, we just go through all this? Yeah, yeah we, we've done a lot more than that, but that's for a different, like, crazy podcast. <laughs> but, uh, damn, I really was looking forward to him choking on my urine. That's terrifying. <laughs> that's really fucking terrifying. Very. We'll save that for the day that you guys actually had cams up. We got to do that where the people can see it, or else they won't fucking believe it. Yeah, that's yeah. a reality. Um. Oh my God, sweet Jesus! No, oh, look. I mean, we got a lot of goals, man. I got a lot of goals. I can sum it all up with the word expansion. That's what 2020 is going to be about. Putting us on the map. And expansion. Drinking each other's piss? That too. Everyone likes a good old fashioned, someone said blood urine packed. But that usually you know, as, means that you're as dying. As a OG community member? Tell me. To join a team in PDHM, you all need to share a glass of each other's urine. You know what? I think that we're going to have to do that at my wedding. If you want to be in this shit, you're going to drink a fucking, just like a little shot of my urine. I'm going to make you drink a whole cup. Maybe yeah, I don't know a about fucking... yours because you're a sick, nasty bastard. I'm pretty I'm clean in nasty bastard. And I expected him to do that. So... <laughs> <laughs> Jackson just came back and handed me a glass. And he's like, look. Don't, don't piss in this. Like... <laughs> Because he, he's sitting there talking to you about some serious accounting business, and I'm sitting there while he's doing that, just sitting there. Pissing at a fucking glass. glass. Jesus Christ. So so before we got into all this piss loading and all of this nonsense, 
we agreed that you had some questions for us and I'd love to hear these questions. And so, so what's going on, man? What do we need to talk about? Or what do you feel like you want to discuss? I want, right. Now that I'm fucking, I mean, I'm drunk. I mean, like there's fucking, I'm slurring my words. I can't really fucking think properly. <sighs> Take the fucking grilled cheese out of your mouth. You savage. Mm. What the fuck are you saying to me? You close your mouth before you speak. <laughs> Let's talk about uh. What I want earlier before the podcast something about Star Wars. I want to hear about Star Wars. So, what I'm gonna say, what I want to know, right? I want to know about Star Wars. I want to know why everyone keeps saying it's fucking shit. I want just you know you don't gotta tell me the whole shebang, but I want like. An idea. Give me a little bit of a breakdown. Rich, here's a spoiler alert. Give it to me. We're about to give a drunk review of Star Wars in about 10 fucking minutes. Are you ready? Give it to me. Uh, spoiler alert for everybody that's listening. Hey, you, want... you go ahead, buddy. You all, right, your... all right, all right, all right. All right. Fucking Kylo Ren, right? Everybody knows who Kylo fucking Ren is in the yep. new story. Yep, he goddamn yep. comes in. He invades a planet with the stormtroopers. He's fucking up these fucking mushroom head sons of bitches. Just smoking them on Mustafar. You don't know it's Mustafar because there's trees and shit that are burnt down. Goddamn, don't know well, why. You said trees mushroom are caps? Fucking... What? You said mushroom caps? Mushroom caps, like pe like penis just... shaped. But they're, but they're people. Just imagine if a fucking mushroom was growing out of your goddamn head and you didn't have a face and your eyes were glowing, okay? They, 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 that's that's what you can picture. So they're cocks they with guns. Like fucking maybe five to ten stormtroopers in this area that Kylo Ren is. I'm talking about this dude is like pulling people in with the force, cutting them in half and shit. Like they can't escape. I don't know what the fuck they're doing out in the middle of the open. No goddamn bunkers or trenches or anything. Like, openly engaging Kylo Ren, who has a goddamn lightsaber. Like, they're getting fucking smacked, okay? A dude takes a tombstone that probably weighs, I don't know, 5,000 pounds with his bare hands, pushes it off this table, gets a Sith holocron, okay? It's a goddamn GPS to this secret planet that no one knows about. Like Flies that. through some shitty ass like fucking <laughs> red clouds and shit. Like he's in, he's by himself. He doesn't take the fleet. He takes his starfighter, which is identical to Darth Vader's starfighter. For those of you that are Star Wars fans, oh, it's got red lights. Sorry, it's got it's got red lights, and somehow it has like a USB cord that plugs into this uh, ancient goddamn. I really don't think it's a USB like, cord. Pyramid. Sith, uh, I'm gonna I'm it's gonna like, go on out of the limb and say it's not a fucking USB cord. Wait, say that again. I'm gonna go on out of the limb and say it's not a USB cord. He's plugging into his uh, fucking spaceship. Kinda, uh, I mean, it's, it's Bluetooth. Bluetooth. I mean, it's, it's gotta Bluetooth. be because because it just <laughs> like for some fucking reason he has something that plugs into this goddamn thing. Can you imagine? It's, can you can you just can you just picture Kylo Ren fucking around with Bluetooth for 15 minutes? Trying to get, like, the radio to work inside of his fucking TIE this, fighter. I mean, I can imagine him spending at least an hour trying to figure this shit out. Or, or... He force connected to it. Yeah, he force... That's what it is. Well, Disney says they, uh... They... That he force connects us to it. I don't... I don't fucking know. When they all those fails... When all those fails... They call give it a the goddamn fucking, wayfinder, but What do they call it? Just... Mid mid midichlorians? Is that what they're called, right? No! Is that what, what? they're called? Oh, no, we're not going there. We're not talking about that. Disney doesn't talk about that, okay? <laughs> Mini Glorians is like some kind of goddamn bacteria in your fucking blood that makes you able to. Makes you a fucking use space force. ninja? Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. But yeah. yeah well, anyways, he, he fucking plugs into this baseball sized pyramid, puts it in his goddamn starfighter, doesn't take his fleet with him. I don't know why. Apparently, according to the rolling film at the beginning of the movie, the First Order is like the most powerful thing ever. Like, more powerful than the, the goddamn Empire, which is crazy. And he, he, he goes to this fucking, he flies through fucking red clouds and shit, and he goes to this planet. It, it, from what I can tell, it's mostly just goddamn water. 
You know, it's like Camino where they make the clones. Yeah, and yeah. then there's this big ass like 30 mile by 30 mile square cube of like plateau that's sitting in the water. And then there's a big fucking pyramid sitting over that and it's like 30 meters tall. Like a, there's a space between the plateau and the pyramid that's like way the fuck up there. I don't know. It's just hovering. Like there's nothing holding it up. Okay. So, so Jesus Christ. So, so you just he fucking lands his starfighter. He's like, oh, this is a fucking good way to go. I guess I'll just walk <laughs> into this goddamn lightning storm and fucking pyramid. So he walks into it, and every time one of these these lightning bolts strike down for the pyramid it makes like a really loud sound like a really high screech uncomfortable sound that you, that i can't even describe in words and uh holy shit he just fucking walks and he he comes down on this platform and then there's like these these jedi like massive hundred foot high like fucking jedi uh statues, but turns out they're sit statues, can't tell the fucking difference. Walks through them, turns, takes a left, and holy shit, there's these vats, like these big-ass beer vats. Like, these big-ass beer vats with, like, this side of like, glass, and holy shit, there's like, there's like three of them, and, and Snoke is in there. He's like growing Snokes in these fucking when you so when you when, when you share that all i can picture is like fucking like alien are they in like little fucking test tube all like right, a little so test just tube babies? imagine like a really big stephen hawking like in a wheelchair <laughs> goddamn <laughs> like he got smacked in the head by some kind of heavy like some jock took like a 45 pound weight just smacked him across the skull and there's like a fucking gash in his forehead and that's that's pretty close to it that's terrible i mean he's he, and then imagine that person being like grown and put in a wheelchair and he hasn't been fed for like 30 days okay I mean, you, ever, you, like, you ever realize that like, you ever, he's like seven feet tall <laughs> he hasn't been fed in like 30 days i mean that's you, you ever realize that snoke looks like a ball sack uh, i mean he does hold on i'm gonna look I, up a picture of snoke hold on hold on he looks like a ball sack I can't slow down. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Keep much. going. Keep going. I'm just looking up a picture of Snoke in case anyone hasn't right, seen so what he looks like before. He looks like a appears, fucking he's got this scrotum. Goddamn! If you guys have played Portal or Portal Two, like that fucking robot that comes down. I don't know what her name is. Wait, but hold on. There's that, a Lego like, Snoke, and he looks like this fucking homeless guy that used to ask me for money in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, whatever you're seeing right now, him. Except, Carry on, baby. Uh, like in the homeless. Yeah. Continue. Except he's like seven feet fucking tall. All right. Uh, you guys ever play Portal? You ever play Portal? You ever seen Portal? I know what Portal is, yeah. Okay, you know that goddamn, like, narrator thing that comes down from, like, the ceiling everywhere? The weird fucking camera arm thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine that, like, where it reaches, like, a hundred yards into the air, and it's just attached to, like, an old-ass, like, decrepit emperor's back. Right, and he's just goddamn floating with his like fucking feet dangling, right? Yeah, and then yeah. for some for some reason, his eyes have been bleached, like completely white, and he's blind. And that's Palpatine. And then he speaks. So his, Pal Palpatine's he's, riding he's, in the backpack. Kylo Ren, is, Kylo Ren's there, and he's like, "Oh, dude, I can give you everything." And he's like, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "Well, this is a Sith planet. I have unlimited power." He raises his fucking hands and raises, like, goddamn 5,000 Star Destroyers out of, like, the ocean, okay? All right? So he's like, all right, I need you to go fucking kill Ray, But he doesn't call her Ray, He calls her the scavenger. And he's like, okay, I'll I'll go do that. And he's like, who is she? And he's like, oh, well, she's not what you think. And then he does this, like, creepy old man smile, like, I'm about to fucking, like, like give you a lot of drugs and fucking fuck you in the ass, okay? You gave so him the then fucking they, Bill Cosby. You, you, you zoom you over, gave him, they gave him you the zoom Bill Cosby. To Ray, and she's goddamn in the forest doing some capture the flag shit, okay? At the same time, there's like a baseball size like laser laser thing that's shooting her where she's supposed to block it with, you know, the goddamn loop thing that was like a like a basketball you, size. You, you, you're like talking about like the little Obi Wan fucking zip zip yeah, zip. Yeah, the zip. thing that like fucking flows around. It's like a, it's like a yeah, it's a it's a training ping ping if you want to ever. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like a, a basketball train? set. Wait, what the fuck did you just call? Hold on, so but hold on, hold on. You're going too fast. You're going too fast, baby. No, 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 no. You're going to lose the right We're speed. I just want to, I just, hold on. I just want to know more about it. Palpatine in the backpack. What? That, that's it. That's all you get. Palpatine's in a backpack, though. That's all you get, dude. Who is it? Whose backpack is he in? It's it's the fucking portal thing attached to his back. That's all you get. You guys ever it's see you, like you, 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 you guys ever see the Palpatine. game show like Mental right Samurai now. or something like that? I think is the name no, of the game show. No, that's all you get for right now. That's you all get, you get. That's all. all right, keep going. No, that's all you get. Keep, that's keep, all you, keep, that's keep, all you get. <laughs> <laughs> There's no mention of Mel Palpatine for the next hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> So goddamn, it keeps going right. I agree with so like you're raising a fucking, raising a fucking forest. She's good. She's doing some capture the flag shit, like flipping into the air, like jumping across fucking shit. And there's like a baseball sized laser laser thing that shoots, shoots shit at her. Uh, apparently, according to Nathan's research, it's uh, uh like controlled by Kylo Ren, so it's like trying to piss her off. You know, it's like doing dodges where she can't hit it, which is like. What a normal person would do trying to kid it, kill a Jedi, you know? Like, holy shit, this motherfucker knows how to use the Force. I'm just a regular dude. If you've seen Rogue One, it doesn't end well for that person. So so she's trying to whack this thing, and she keeps missing. So Kylo Ren keeps moving it like five yards to the right, and then like five yards back to the left in like a second. So it's moving like super fucking fast, and she can't hit it. She gets really mad. Like, really fucking mad, because this thing is zapping her, and she just starts swinging like a goddamn madman, chopping down trees and shit. Yeah. Well, she she fucking throws her lightsaber in, like, a boomerang fashion, force pulls her staff, smashes it, grabs her goddamn lightsaber in her left hand, ends up smashing the shit out of BB-8. Like, BB-8 is goddamn smashed by a tree. Like, BBA really? was like, I'm gonna come over and check on Ray and see she's okay. There's a lot of commotion over here. And then he gets goddamn smashed. He BBA half got half fucking rock'em, sock'em, roboted. Yeah, and he's like, oh, 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 fucking help me. Like, God, and she's like, oh, shit, I'm so sorry. And, like, runs over. Fucking Mary Sue style. Uh, I've never trained in my goddamn life. I know how to play capture the flag now. So she got, she, she fucking disappears. Right, like, it goes to the next scene. Yeah. It's Poe, Finn, and goddamn Chewbacca and the Falcon. They fly into a glacier. They get this They get this intel. So this dude just drops down. Just imagine a USB port with a giant cord attached to it times about 50. Okay? That's how big the, the goddamn cord is. And he, like, drops it down. And he's like, oh, there's a spy in the first order. Uh, you'll never guess who it is. Uh, plug this into R2-D2 and fucking download this shit. So they plug it in. He fucking pulls it back out. And he's like, what do we do now? And he's like, win the war. This guy looks like he's got, like, fucking, like, horns sticking out. Like, for horns for ears. And he's, like, orange colored. His mouth is way too fucking wide. Like, imagine your mouth, but you stretch it out like three times as wide and he's got like this job of the hoods like incest brother yeah That's but like odd. a really small head really creepy goddamn the puppetry you can almost see the strings it's really creepy all right That's so like the tie fighters tie fighters come in the same entrance there's like 10 or 15 of them and you're like oh shit this rebel base is found they're about to goddamn invade it and fuck everybody up and he's like happy about it when he's like win the war and i'm like oh shit this dude's about to die and he doesn't even know it like he's not even gonna like yeah. be optimistic about it and uh th th that's the last time you see this fucking guy and they get in the, the the falcon they fly out they blast a hole through the side of the glacier and then they do this thing called light speed jumping so wait you see the guy with the horns right. for the last time so this was guy, like all right hold it? on and he fucking jumps to light speed yeah. pulls the falcon out of light speed Number one, okay, so if you're familiar with the lore, TIE Fighters are ship-based, so they are independent, right? So, like, when they run out of fuel, they have to fly back to the fucking Star Destroyer they came from. But for some reason in this movie, TIE Fighters have the ability to jump to light speed, okay? So, when he jumps to light speed, or they call it light skipping... The TIE Fighters just follow him. 
So, like, the main ship they came from doesn't know where the fuck they went. So they just disappeared, you know? Essentially. So, wait, and the TIE Fighter is able to, is, the, is able to jump light a, speed? There's a technology in the last movie that allows you to track ships through light speed. Yeah, so I saw light that. speed, which is kind of fucking crazy. So these, these TIE Fighters track them, and Poe drops them onto another planet. Like, in the planet, like, fucking, like, on the surface of the planet. Instead of in space, they're like, oh, fuck. Like, I'll just jump us to our base where there's a bunch of defenses. He's like, no, fuck that. We're going to the, the, the like, surface of the planet. Like, I'm talking about 100 yards from the surface of the planet. And he does this shit, like, three or four times until there's no more starfighters. Like, they're, like, crashing into shit. And then he goes back to base. Ray's there. They're, like, on a fucking planet, like, indoor don't know what it's called. They don't introduce it. They land on, uh, we'll call it part two indoor, and uh, fucking land there. Uh, Ray, I mean, get, goddamn, the the Falcons like on fire at this point. Ray and Poe have an argument about uh, Poe saying, "Hey, uh, Ray, you you should be up here fighting. You don't need any more training because you just beat fucking Kylo Ren down like he was nothing. Like he was a fucking muppet." Okay? Like, there's no reason that you should be training right now. You're the best in the galaxy. Which I would argue is completely correct. Like, she's, she's, she, Disney is like, he's arguing for Disney. He's like, hey, Disney made you the greatest character of all time. You've never fucking taken damage. So, like, you should just go out there and fight. And she's like, no, I need to train more. And he's like, you're fucking wrong. And then he storms off. Okay? So, then they go on this goddamn quest. Right? They're like, oh shit, like Palpatine has projected his voice across the galaxy. And they're like, there with General A. Oh, well, he's just laughing. Well, what's the message? Oh, well, he's just laughing. Like, ha 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 ha. That fucking weird ass Palpatine <laughs> laugh. Well, they fucking, he, they're like, oh, well, he, he projected his, his voice across the galaxy and everybody's freaked the fuck out. They don't want to fight anymore. They're surrendering. And, uh, uh, do you remember, uh, Pippin from, uh, goddamn Lord of the Rings? Yes. Or Charlie from Lost. Okay, Charlie from Lost, or, uh... Or Pippin. Pippin, Pippin's, Pippin's a pussy, but Mary's bad at it. Mary! Yeah. Pippin! Fucking, <laughs> Charlie from Lost is like, oh, well, this could be possible through, uh, cloning, so that's the only explanation they... They give for Palpatine being alive. But anyways, like, uh, they're, they're like, oh, shit, well, we got to find this Sith holocron, and they call it a Wayfinder so we can fucking figure out where this guy, this cocksucker is. So, elite, so Poe, Finn, Ray get on a ship with uh, three CPO, or uh, yeah, three PO, and, and fucking Chewbacca, and th BB-8, all the main characters you actually about. Like, if that planet got destroyed, you would anybody they fly to this goddamn planet and uh there's like a fucking festival and there's these weird ass like fucking goddamn tentacle people like like they got some kind of weird ass face with like tentacles hanging down like flapping the goddamn wind like That's a fucking penis. Upsetting. like uh they're just dancing around and they're like oh well uh they only have this festival every 42 years and you're like holy shit star wars first movie came out 42 years ago like, that's what you're thinking in the movie theater. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, wow. And uh, they, they're like, oh, well, well, they, they, oh, Jesus Christ. And, uh, and, and, and <laughs> fucking uh, Kylo has one of those, like, force-sensitive things where he connects with Ray. Yes. And uh, his little like, fucking he's there conference and the fucking and he's closet. like, where are you? And she's like, fuck off. And he, like, reaches over and grabs her necklace, right? So he, like, analyzes your necklace in goddamn literally 10 seconds in the movie. They're like, sir, it's from this fucking planet, from this fucking place. Like, like literally, he's in a completely different space and is like, yo, bitch, you look good. I like your necklace. And <laughs> reaches through the other dimension and grabs her fucking necklace and takes it off. And then, like, once the scene cuts, she's like, he took my fucking necklace. 
I mean, Jesus Christ. Is that all she freaks out? I mean, I, I I would I would immediately be like, holy shit, he just took my necklace for a reason. We need to get the fuck off this planet. But Ray's like, ah. This is fine. We'll just fucking stay here. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Kylo does the analysis, and he's like, alert the garrison on the planet. Start searching for anybody that looks out of place, and let's fucking fly there. So he flies his fleet there. Uh, probably 15 seconds later, uh, Ray's, like, walking through the crowd, and there's a fucking stormtrooper. He, like, runs up, and he's like, holy shit. I fucking found Ray, and he like puts a gun in her face. He's like, "Drop your fucking weapons," and he like gets on his radio to like call for backup. And holy shit, a fucking arrow! I'm talking about a fucking like arrow from like goddamn Native Americans flies into this dude's eye hole. Like, like, like a oh, shot yes, him. like shot him from like five. Like Robin away. Hood, shot him through the face, dude. Kicks his head back and screams and falls down as we all would. As one and would. you see this dude with a mask on, but he's got like a disguised voice because they got a bit of suspense. And they're like, he's like, come with me. And they like obviously follow him. Like, holy shit, you just murdered this guy. We should definitely follow you. Like, <laughs> like no question asked. They go in this weird ass like crawler thing. They get in there. Dude takes his mask off and, uh, Surprise, surprise, it's fucking fat Lando Calrissian. I mean, he's gained, he, god damn, he's about 65 years old. You know, he probably weighs about 200 pounds. He's got no muscle mass. He's a big, big fat bastard. It's fun. He's like, oh, Ray, and like Chewie freaks out, gives him a hug. You know, he's like, oh, shit, like it's fucking Lando from the old movies because this is what Disney does. They feed off of the... You know, like you're attached to the is old Is he movies. fat now? Yeah, I mean, bro, he's character. fucking. So he, he's fucking Chewie old, gives him man. a good hug. Lando's like, dude, you gotta find this fucking ship out in the desert. It was flown by a Sith sympathizer. So they fucking leave there. Lando's like, I'm not going. Fuck that. My flying days are over. I've you know, survived this long. You, you know, you know, he used to do advertising for Colt 45 malt liquor, right? I love Colt 45 malt liquor. But other than that, I did not hear what the fuck you just said. He used to do the commercials for it. Lando? Yeah. God bless his fucking soul. Mm -hmm. Because he... <laughs> Come he by and got, drink some he cold didn't 45 malt liquor. He didn't goddamn this movie into... So they go out and... They go out in the fucking desert, right? Now, of course, like, there's, like, these two stormtroopers that... Actually, this four of them, they chase him on a fucking speeder. And, of course, they got jetpacks. Okay, let me address this, all right? Anybody that's played this knows that jetpacks have been around for about a hundred goddamn years at least now. Like, people have been flying around on jetpacks for a really fucking long time, okay? Like, it's like you're seeing a car, like, now. Like, holy shit, they have cars? Like, yeah, no fucking shit, fucking... they have cars. This shit has been around for a hundred goddamn years. Like fucking so they fucking had a jetpack in the OG They fucking movies. come on speeders, which aren't actually speed. Like, they don't hover. Yeah. Right? So these two speeders don't hover. They're controlled by, a, like, a tank track. So, number one, this thing is, like, a hundred years in the past, at least. You know? And the, the guy on the back of this thing has a jetpack, and Poe looks at Finn, he's like... They Fly now, and Poe's like, they fly now, and I'm like, god damn, this technology has been around for a fucking long time. So anyways, they defeat them, they goddamn fall in this, like, little ball pit that sinks them down. They find this big-ass serpent monster from, uh, Harry Potter, like the first Harry Potter, like this secret of... Chamber of, Chamber of Secrets looks exactly like that. Like that fucking Secret. ridiculous Anaconda and it's, movie. It's, it's injured from Harry Potter. So yeah. like Ray, <laughs> Ray reaches <laughs> down with her hand and heals it. And the serpent's like, oh wow, this bitch is pretty cool. And she fucking well, this serpent moves away and it moves it like they find a dagger, like a sick Sith dagger, and they get they get out. And uh, they're like, holy shit, let's go check out this ship that's been here for, like, 50 years, which doesn't... It's got, like, spider and shit. So they, like, go into that ship, and Ray like, feels Kylo Ren approaching. So she goes outside for some reason, instead of just flying the goddamn ship away and escaping. 
Like, as if she could beat Kylo Ren in single combat with no training. So, like, Kylo Ren shows up in the Starfighter. Ray's standing in the middle of the desert. You know how fucking fast TIE Fighters are. It's flying towards her, like, probably at least 500 miles per hour. Yeah. It gets really close to her. She jumps in the air, cuts the wing off. The goddamn thing crashes and explodes like a fucking bonfire. No, 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 no. No, I must cut you off there because unlike every single other TIE fighter that has ever, or any fighter that has ever been at least nicked, nicked in the Star Wars universe, the thing has completely exploded, obliterated, and been blasted to smithereens. This thing is completely cut in half, but it just, you know, just so happens to Roll a little bit into the sand. <laughs> doesn't explode. No Kylo problem. I mean, that's completely correct. I mean, dude, if you're, and it makes sense too what Nathan's saying in the old movies. Like, if you're, if you're putting some kind of type of into something that fucking can make something go like a thousand miles per hour in space, it's probably going to explode immediately when it. It's nicked. You know, like, it's not I mean, illogical you would, you to would, think. You would fucking well, this think fucking, so. This fucking thing crashes, right? Well, like, Poe Dameron's in there. He gets the old sp spaceship fired up, and he looks at you, and he's like, you need to go down there in person and let Ray we know we gotta go. So fucking Chewie leaves the ship. The goddamn Knights of Ren show up. You don't get to see Chewie get captured. He gets goddamn captured and put on a transport. And the only reason we know that is because Finn's like, damn, this is taking a long time. Let me go outside and check on Chewie. Like, probably ten minutes after he got captured, sees these two ships, like, throwing this goddamn son of a bitch on the ship. Like, the, the amount of time doesn't make any fucking sense. So, anyways, Chewie gets captured, captured, throws on a transport ship, rays out there in the middle of the open, and, uh... Finn runs out there, he's like, Chewie got captured! He's like fucking ye yelling at Ray, and he like, points the ship. Ray reaches out with the force. As the ship's taking... Yeah, as the ship is going like, probably 100 miles per hour, the and grabs at it. At least 200 miles off the ground. I mean, this ship is almost out of the fucking atmosphere. I'm not sitting here as claiming to be like, some sort of magician, astronomer, or scientist. And knowing how far, you know, the distance it takes to get out of the atmosphere. This fucking ship is gone. This ship is fucking gone. And goddamn Ray, this stupid dumb bitch doesn't reach up out of her asshole. Grab this fucking ship with her forced hand. And is like, wait, there's someone on there that I care about. And grabs this motherfucker, right? And just holds it still. Up there in the middle. She holds the... Wait, hold on. She holds the ship still? Yeah, she's fucking holding with it. her hand. Like, with the force. She's holding this fucking ship still. And then, at some point, she, like, feels a disturbance. She looks to the left. And Kylo Ren is, like, walking towards her. 50 yards away. Out of the destruction of the Somehow, he crashed the TIE Fighter. We watch it explode, like, into oblivion. He takes, he's got his helmet in his hand, and he's just walking towards her, like, no injuries, no fire, anything, no bullets. And he reaches out with his goddamn force, and, and, like, grabs the ship, and is trying to, like, piss her off, a bit, essentially. Well, Ray reaches up, gets fucking mad, and all of a sudden, force lightning comes out of her hand, and goddamn blows the fucking ship up, like... Boom! Like, no like way. force lightning, 200 yards in the air, grabs the ship and just fucking explodes it into oblivion. Just fucking rocks like, There's it. hardly anything left. Now, granted, you have to keep in mind that force lightning has not been seen in the Star Wars universe other than from Palpatine. Yeah, that he's the only the one. only other time it has been seen. Yeah, because, I mean, the only other time you see anyone do it is in, like, the uh, the prequels. But Yoda just fucking catches it and throws it back, basically. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. But the, the only ever time 
you see it is from Palpatine, from the dark side. It's a dark side thing. And Ray does it. She fucking, in a battle with uh, Kylo Ren over the over this spaceship, she has a hold of it, and Kylo Ren has a hold of it from across the battlefield. Like, they're both sitting there, like, like a tug of war over this battleship yeah. that apparently has Chewbacca. They're fighting over it with the Force. Like, hey, I've got this. No, hey, no, 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 no. I've got this. It's like, no, bitch, no, 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 trick y'all. I've got this shit. Fucking soldier boy, nigga. Like, this and then is she fine. fucking throws lightning at it. Yeah. So Ray, in her anger, like this, like up to this point, Ray has been getting very angry at very minute things. Like her anger is really, really coming out. Like you haven't seen this yet. Like she's just getting yeah. really angry at things. And she fucking zaps that motherfucking transport ship into oblivion. Well, and if you remember, right, like, the prequels, I think one thing that they did really well in the prequels and the OG movies, um, do you remember fucking, what's his name? Um, I guess was it Palpatine? But in the prequels, I can't remember. You remember, uh, they fight Dooku? And then... Yeah. He wasn't emperor yet. He was, I guess, he was senator, right? He was a senator or something like that. Depends on what movie you're talking about. I, I can't really acknowledge that unless you give. Okay, me I, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to fucking remember. Um, he asks Anakin. He tells Anakin to fucking kill him, to kill Dooku, and he's like, "Oh, I can. I'm a fucking Jedi. It's against the rules." And he's like, "Fucking finish him," and he fucking kills him. Right? He cuts off the fucking guy's head. And that's against the Jedi fucking code. And if you remember in the OG movies, Luke doesn't kill Vader when fucking Palpatine tells him to. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, Luke, sure. like, followed, like, you know what I mean? Like, I thought that was, like, a cool kind of a thing that was almost, like, reflective of, like, the future. Like, Anakin wasn't fucking evil yet. He wasn't a fucking bad guy yet. And no, 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 yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? So, like, I thought that reflection was kind of interesting, but I also yeah, think so it's interesting a... with Ray, with uh, with her that she is showing like almost like premonitions of becoming like, like you know, dark side, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. So, I mean, there, there are very distinct moments within the Star Wars universe, these and the shows, the television shows that, that differentiate the light side of the force, which would be the Jedi's, and the dark side of the force, which would be the Siths, you know, the light side of the and the dark side of the force. And Ray, in that moment, she exhibited a moment of, of using the dark side of the force. She, she exhibited her anger upon that transport ship, which apparently had Chewbacca. And she completely obliterated it. She destroyed it with that electric. And honestly, just a little tiny tidbit away from just a little spoiler. People that haven't watched The Mandalorian is that also Baby Yoda that everyone hyped about. Yeah. In one of the most recent episodes, he uses Force Choke, which is a dark side. Um, not saying he's gonna be. In that, I mean, the lines have been drawn pretty clearly. Hold on, Nate, you're breaking up a lot. Everything's been drawn pretty clearly up to this point about, you know, what what can be used and what can be used regarding which side of the Force you're on. And yeah. The dark side, the Force choke, when you're choking out a motherfucker with Force, that's a dark side power. For up sure. to this point. You know, you've never seen a Jedi do that. You know, no. I've seen the... the the, the questions of, well, he was Baby Yoda. I'm talking about the Mandalorian. He he was only doing that because, you know, he was protecting such and such Mando because he thought he was endangering the other person. Well, I was like, well, how many times have you seen a, how many times have you seen a Jedi sit there and watch their loved one in danger and then not use a force choke? There's been plenty of opportunity for a Jedi in the past to use force choke. I mean, hell, you can use that any day. Like, hell, even if you're fucking, you're a Jedi and you're having sex, like you're sitting there 
fucking hell. <laughs> I'm not joking. Because this shit makes me nut hard. Like, but they don't do it, you know? No, it's I mean, just, like, like the most you'll see, the most you'll see the Jedi do is, like, throw the, like, they'll do, like, the, like, the force push, or they'll fucking throw something at him or some shit. Yeah, 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 they can grab something and throw it. Exactly. But yeah, but, uh, at this, at this point where, where Jackson is leading up to is where, you know, you see Rey sit there and send her power bolt through there, which is a dark side power, and destroys that, that transport ship, which Chewbacca was, at that point, displayed to be upon. Yeah, I'm no, gonna, just I'm fucking gonna Jackson wild. here. Jackson here, pick up where he left off here on this. Ah, <laughs> uh, I appreciate what you're trying to do. It's just not fucking working. It it it's. So, so, so I've, I have mixed feelings on this, and, uh, I've always asked, like, my family member, even since the late, late 1970s movie, I was like, why is it, per se, illegal the Jedi to use certain force powers? And as I've grown older, the argument doesn't make as much sense to me as it used to when I was a kid because, like, your 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 parents try to make noble, you know, like yeah, you're not supposed to embrace hate and you know anguish or those feelings. But as you become an adult, you kind of identify with Anakin with the understanding that you're trying to save a loved one, right? So he marches into the, the Jedi Temple with the understanding that what he's doing is completely justified based on the fact that Palpatine is going to save his wife. So <laughs> what we just saw in the new movie means that Palpatine definitely could have done it. Or the other side of it is Disney just completely like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's really a matter of like, which one is more likely. Yeah, I I. I, I Let's go with the latter. What happens after? Jackson, what happens after? Chewbacca is theoretically destroyed, obliterated by Rey, the savior of the Jedi's. I oh man, so. So going along with my theory of when I was a child and why can't everyone just control their emotions and just yeah so 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 from my perspective as a young person and a teenager and an adult was okay force powers are based on uh, emotions right so mm. hate leads to f fucking force lightning. You know, I, I mean, they kind of in the new, the new movie of, uh, you know, Ray uses force, li force lightning because she feels the hate towards Kylo Ren, right? So, uh, I'm not really sure what's the difference between Jedi and Sith at this point. Um, I've always had uh, mixed feelings about it. Uh, like, you don't have to just embrace hate, and I don't know. I have a complex uh, view on human nature, which is... And yes, Jackson, I did piss in two more bottles. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm not I'm not kosher on leaving the... I'm not kosher okay. on leaving the room. Respect that. Yeah, respect it, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not... That's, that's going to be what I, I spit my dip in, and these the man two broke containers the are what I've been seal. pissing in. Uh, two yeah, two piss bottles and one, three, three bottles that are mine. You leave the rest alone, please. And so, basically, what you've got here is you in the story, basically on where he left off, where you've got the good side and the bad side. You have Kylo Ren 
actually becoming the good side. He becomes a Jedi. He gets so wound up with how he cares so much about Rey. He gets so caught up with how much he cares about Rey that he becomes a Jedi. He starts hearing things from his mother, Leia, who dies in this movie due to bullshit. Yeah. You get Leia talking to him in the Force atmosphere. You get his father, Han Solo, talking to him in the Force atmosphere saying, you know what, Ben, Ben Solo, not Kylo Ren, but hey, Ben Solo, we love you. We've always loved you. Why can't you be good? And he's like, well, uh, I guess I could be for this movie. And so he becomes good. And you see where Ray is like, throughout these past three movies, like, who the fuck am I? She finally finds out. She ends up getting with Kylo Ren, figuring out how to get to Exegol, which is the Sith Lord world, the Sith Lord temple. She finally finds a way there. And they're like, oh, well, uh, guess what? You're my granddaughter of Palpatine. Like, Chancellor Palpatine has a granddaughter, and it is Rey. No shit. No shit, yeah. She is Rey Palpatine. No fucking shit. Yeah, and to me, to PDM Crackerjack, to Rich and Wealthy, to Nathan Pate, that is bullshit. That's absolute 100% bullshit. I mean, I'm trying to think about who would fuck Palpatine. Not only who would fuck Palpatine, I don't care about that. What I care about is that there's nothing leading up. There's nothing in the comics. There's nothing in the legend. There's nothing in the lore that says that Palpatine ever had children. Nonetheless, a granddaughter or grandchildren. And nothing say i mean if you have a jedi if you have a sith anything up to this point you have known good and well whether or not they've had family you've known that yeah so you've known that darth vader had it took a little bit but you knew that darth vader had luke and leia and they explained it through episodes one two and three there were there was a whole trilogy based on explaining that in itself but you had this last trilogy, seven, eight, and nine, of trying to figure out who Leia was. And yeah. throughout one, two, and three, you had opportunity to even at one time show that Palpatine had even a son or a daughter, anything. But Something. nothing was ever shown. Not even in the comics, not even in nothing. So if you were to ask Jackson what he thought of the movie, he said to me, he's not in the room right now. He said to me, he enjoyed it. He loved it. If you yeah. were to ask me, I would tell you, I hated it. Too much PC bullshit. Yeah. What he failed to explain, though I thought he did a great job of doing so, is that also within the movie, if I may touch on some things, is that within the movie, very early, they wiped C-3PO's memory. So he had no recollection of what had happened previously within the Star Wars universe. No shit. Yeah, for sure. And he was very PC up to the culture of what the world is now today, of what the world we live in, of I have best friends, I have you guys are... And C-3PO up to this point hasn't been about it just wasn't in his character i didn't appreciate it i didn't appreciate it at all i feel like that was like super unnecessary like that it was very unnecessary i mean c-3po's entire thing was that he was fucking neurotic i mean that was kind of just the whole deal you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, for sure i i didn't appreciate that aspect uh chewbacca when ray and kylo ren were sitting there arguing battling through the via the force over that transport ship yeah Chewbacca wasn't on that transport ship he was on another and he didn't end up dying but it was still PC bullshit like that didn't need to occur like it was it was melodramatic because after that transport blew up you had about a 5 to 10 to 15 minute 
instance within the movie of where all the people are sitting there crying over fucking Chewbacca dying. And I was over it within five seconds of it happening. Like, if he died, he died. All right, let's move on. Like, yo, I've already seen, like, Han Solo die in the last movie. I was gonna like, say, fucking Han Solo died, fucking Luke just Chewbacca fucking evaporated. Dying, like, everybody crying about it. Yeah, seriously. Like, let's go. Like, just move on. But, come to find out, he didn't end up dying. He was on another transport, but still, I was like, that was just wasted time. Like, like get out of my face about it. Yeah. I care. I really don't care. So, the things that I cared the most about this movie weren't the Rebel Alliance atmosphere of it. I could give two shits. And this is me. This is my personal opinion. I could give two shits about the we've got to do good. We've got to save the galaxy. Thing. I'm not an Empire positive. I'm not, I'm not a Nazi when it comes to Star Wars. I mean, I just like the entertainment. Yeah. But only entertainment value I found from the movie were when they were on or when the, the when the movie was the setting was on Exegol, which is the planet. Exegol is the planet which the Sith Temple where Palpatine was located. Because that's where all the action took place. I was going to say, it's probably everything fucking revolving around the action, that, really. Everything outside of Exegol was yeah. just... PC filler bullshit to the PC bullshit of when they wipe C-3PO's memory. Yeah. If you watched all the other movies, he hasn't ever mentioned, like, he's been very unilateral. He's been very direct, very he's been uh, the definition of what a computer or what yeah, AI. Yeah, he's a fucking robot. Yeah, he's a robot. He, he starts spitting out fucking, you know, fucking ratios of percentages of chance of living. Yeah. You know and what I mean? Movie, yeah, and this movie, after they wipe his memory, he's talking about, like, you're my best friend. Existential like, fucking you. emotion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he, in this movie, he, he emits emotions and stuff, and it's just unnecessary. Uh, and that's the reason why I don't care for this movie. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's over. If this is how it was going to end, then I'm glad it's over. And I mean, they've 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 got things in there where like Kylo Ren and and Ray are sitting there, sitting there talking about how like they can't connect with the Force. Yeah. Like Ray can't connect with the Force like Luke could. Luke could sit there on Dagobah system and talk to Obi Wan Kenobi when he wanted to. Or Yoda after Yoda passed. Ray couldn't do that. Ray up to this point hasn't been able to. She's like, I cannot connect with the past. But Kylo Ren has been able to. Like, Kylo Ren's been able to talk to such and such and such and such. But uh, you have Palpatine saying, I've been those voices. But he was lying. Those voices, you find out at the end of the movie, were actually the real voices. And the reason Ray hasn't been able to protect him is because she was by bloodline on the Sith side. She was a Palpatine. She was supposed. She is the next emperor. She was supposed to be the next emperor of the bloodline. So I guess that I guess that's supposed to explain all the weird shit she was doing with fucking Luke, where she was going down and talking to herself through mirrors and shit. You remember yeah, in the, the last movie? Powerful after only spending one afternoon. Fucking with one afternoon with him, fucking fishing. Yeah, it was. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I kind of, I kind of like the Palpatine twist. I understand what you're saying about the lore and the uh, the canon. I guess is the fucking the right word to use, right? The canon of it all. I understand that like it's a literal impossibility based on the canon and the lore. Got... Interesting, yes, but you gimmicky, yes. Respect. You got two people. Yeah. Now, granted, I'm not a representation of the population in this Jackson, but you've got two people here in Jackson and Nathan who are Star Wars freaks, fucking animals. We live this shit. We've seen all the cartoons. We've seen everything. Yeah. You've got one individual in Jackson who loves it, who has loved this last episode, and you've got one in me who didn't appreciate a lot of it. And I, I, I want to see it again, basically because it was a lot 
take in. It's a two and a half hour movie, and they were wrapping the whole series up. It's a lot to take in. You need to see it more than once, even if you don't like it, just so you can get a grasp. So you understand everything. Right? Yeah, just so you really yeah. can understand. Like, I didn't care for it the first time I saw it. I've yet to see it a second, get, second time again, but I will see it again. Jackson, and, I mean, and, and I mean, I'm sure it's like with, with with anything else. That cares about Star Wars to see this. Again. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to be seeing it. Good, and I mean, good. like, I'm, like I'm glad. I can't wait to hear your perspective. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to see it, and I'm sure it's like everything else. You know what I mean? There's things that you can appreciate, and there's things that you don't appreciate. You know, there I are think things we, that I wish they would have left out. That's what I'm saying. I, I and feel like take that time and explain certain things more. I feel like, like we if all I didn't take the time here in this podcast to explain to you. That at the very beginning of the movie, Kylo Ren is opening up, going to Darth Vader's planet, and taking that shit. You would have never known that. And I'm not trying to be asinine or arrogant. It's just the truth. Because I didn't know that, Jackson. Nobody knew that. Unless you, you won't know that unless you do your research. Yeah. And I didn't want to do that research. It was just like holy shit, I can't believe that was where we... Because I was like, where the fuck were they? Where were they? Yeah, no, I mean, and that so makes I looked sense. it up, and I was like, oh, that's where they were. See, like, I never knew Why you had a fucking... not explain that? I never knew there was a Vader fucking castle in Mustafar, you know what I mean? Like, how the fuck would you know that? Yeah, who the fuck knew that Darth Vader even built his own planet and castle on that shit where he got his arms and legs chopped? Well, it's like, that's like one thing I always think about. Darth Vader. Does he fucking kick back and watch fucking Seinfeld eat a cheese platter? Yeah, for sure. For does sure. he does he microwave up a fucking hungry man, or does he just get fucking juice fucking fed into his machine? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you never think about these guys having like homes. It's a lot. It's a lot. I would love for the people that are listening to this right. Now, please, if you're still listening, which I hope you are. I hope you tune into the next one, uh, the next podcast. Obviously, comments like if you made it this far, portion of this, leave your comments. Let me know. I'd love. I will sit there and I will debate with. I would be in conversation with you about what your thoughts are on this stuff. Uh, but right now, I got to be quite frank. Uh, it's three o three a.m. on the east, and it, it's about time to wrap this month. I've enjoyed. It. Really have really have we've been through two bottles of Jack Daniels <laughs> and four cups I'm of good. piss Jackson's gone I'm good on <laughs> where, where did Jack where did Jack even go I don't know but he's gone Jesus Christ that's why I've got the mic <laughs> that's it baby no, I'm glad man I'm glad that we were able to catch up again and we are gonna fucking pull the plug here cause it's three o'clock Santa's coming and I gotta go to sleep and wake up in two hours to deal with yeah, all of that. I'm not sure what you're gonna post this, but it is three o'clock on Santa's day. Exactly. On Jesus' birthday. Sure, Jesus' birthday. Praise him. Praise, uh... <laughs> We've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Jackson, uh... Jackson, sign us out here. Guys, I'm, uh... If you've made it to this point, I'm uh, very appreciative. Uh, it's been a uh, long call about uh, <laughs> Nathan and, and PDHM and mostly Star Wars, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm really, I'm really appreciative and I can speak to these two guys. We thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, there'll be another podcast in seven days. You guys, uh, chime into, and God knows what we'll be uh, be talking about. So, thank you for joining us tonight, and uh, uh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and just one thing before we go, we gotta do the uh, the old plugaruski shamelessly. Check out the store www.pdhm-na.com. Buy some can merch. We do a, can we get an F in the chat? Or in regards to F in the chat, can we get it? Can we get a clank, 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 clankity? I can, I can do a fucking clank, clank, clankity. All right, let's do a clank, 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 clank. Otherwise known as an F in the chat for all of our following here. 
Alright, here we go. I'll One, give you, two, I'll give three. I'll give you a little. That's my little clankety clackety. She got this really nice new crystal glass. That's what I like, buddy. You know, That's what I like. Let's get an F in the chat. <laughs> and check out PeterGem-NA.com. Let's spell it out. There you go. Also, um, you know, thank you again to all our sponsors, Fatal Grips, Boss Boxes, Good Game Bracelets, Rogue Energy, and Eminence Wrapping. Wraps and signs based out of California. We actually got our stickers from them and uh, a few other cool decals and things like that, and they take care of us. And so, got to say hello to the sponsors and got to give them their credit as well because they do a lot for us. And uh, let's definitely end on that note because I think we're all fucking dying here a little bit, and uh, we'll talk against we're you. not dying I'm we're dying. just drunk shit i'm fucking dying i need to fucking lay down i've been fucking drunk as a skunk for the past fucking 45 minutes Go to bed with your wife. lactating on the side of a fucking maker's mark bottle i don't even know what fucking planet i'm on anymore who's on xbox richard and jackson fucking guys in south korea go to sleep korean so yeah, we're going to do that. So catch up with us on the next podcast, boys and girls.